Hey everybody. Hey, y'all want to hear a little story?
Yeah. Inside access, which is pretty cool. And now all I gotta do is unpack the rest of the campsite. <laughs> I think the first thing we're gonna need is our inside table. Yeah. Sure is nice having that picnic table outside, because that way I don't have to use my big table here out there. I can put it in here because I really like this table and now all I need to do is put the top on it here's a little treat I just repositioned my solar panel my 100 watt solar panel outside and look at that I'm drawing a hundred and three a minute ago it was a hundred and five there's a hundred and four watts through a 100 watt Renogy solar panel that's 100 percent efficiency actually it's 103 percent efficiency that's amazing What is it about getting old that makes seven gallons of water seem so much heavier than it used to? All right, got some air circulating in here. Well, basically it wasn't bad setting this up. It uh, didn't take me too long. Um, I mean, the original putting it up, as you saw, was four minutes. But actually, I spent about another 35 or 40 dillying around, unpacking stuff putting my chair together, setting my grill up out on the table, getting my water out, just all. It usually takes about 45 minutes to set camp up and to put it all away, a little less than an hour. Which, you know, if you do it every day, that's, yeah, that kind of sucks. But, you know, if you, I'm gonna stay here for two nights. So, you know, um, do a little fishing. I, my trout stream is right here next to me less than a hundred foot walk and of course I got fresh water there that's that's mountain spring fed water uh, you can just boil that and bingo you've got good water of course I already have seven gallons of my own well water from home and that grill is smelling good well, the first thing we're gonna need to do is get some rice cooking Mr. Prepared for Everything <laughs> didn't bring any paper towels. So it looks like is going to have to suffice. Mm. Anyway, first thing I need to do is make me some rice. So I'm going to use a oh, about a half a cup of rice and a cup of water. And what I like to do to flavor this up is I like to, uh, instead of using soy sauce or stuff like that, I like to use this uh, Urbox sodium-free chicken bouillon. And I just put it right on in there and cook it with my rice to uh, give my rice that chickeny flavor since I'm going to be having chicken on the grill. I am picky about my rice. I got to have a little Irish butter in there. And I'll probably throw a little pepper in there. Like I said uh, at the earlier part of the video, or before leaving home, I'm going to try to stay kind of healthy this week. Um, so uh, I'm going to be trying to keep the sodium down and uh, things like that, but still enjoy uh, really delicious foods. I'm gonna, tonight I'm going to have the, the uh, purple cauliflower, but I'm going to make up a little vegetable medley to go on the side little zucchini, carrots, and mushrooms. So that's what I'm gonna have. 
with the rice and my chicken. And here's my beautiful veggies, all chopped up. That purple cauliflower looks so good with mushrooms, zucchini, and carrots. And of course, a little Irish butter in the mix. Now the temperature just took about a five degree dive out here. But I got my rice off and I'm just waiting on my pan to heat up here. And we're gonna stir fry these vegetables while our chicken is cooking right over here. Got a little garlic powder, ginger, and pepper on my chicken. And we'll go ahead and throw this stuff in there. Let it get going. It is really windy out here, making it really hard for this uh, for this grill. But that's okay, because we're gonna overcome it and have a delicious dinner. A little cover over these and contain some of that heat. And possibly a little bit of water to make some steam in there. And then we'll put the top over it. Hopefully that'll help steam things up a little bit having to fight this uh, wind. My golly, she's barbecuing now. Man, that smells good. There's nothing like campsite cooked food, man. I'm gonna have to keep an eye out for Mr. Bear tonight, though, because I bet you he's smelling this chicken, too. They're probably out there going, uh-oh, that's old biker dude right there. Well, this is why I bring my little one burner stove top right there just in case things like this. So now I can just stir fry all this over here. It is really windy out here and getting really chilly. Using my little frying pan upside down to help contain some of that heat for the chicken. <laughs> and it seems to be working quite well. And to keep my rice warm, I'm just gonna set it on top of the frying pan. Look at all that smoke coming out from around that frying pan. Don't think that chicken ain't smoking in there now. Oh yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Oh yeah. Yeah, it's gonna take a little more than a little bit of wind to stop me from having a good dinner. I've always used this little method here when I was cooking on the camp stove. I, I'll put it over my chicken and steaks to contain that heat inside there. It kind of turns it into an oven. Okay, I believe we got it. We checked the inside of our chicken and it was done. So now we're gonna just put everything right here in this pan. And that is gonna be our dinner plate. Just like that. Oh yeah, that rice looks good. Got that color from the chicken bouillon in there. That's gonna mix so good with them veggies. Oh yeah. That is my dinner. Well, I'm kinda setting things up for the night here. There's my, my power station. My AC70 Blue Eddy managed to stay at 96%, even though it hasn't been taking in any watts for quite a while. Uh, this evening because it's been very overcast with some dark clouds up there and windy as you know from watching me cook dinner um, a lot of times if it was low enough I could just do this little battery hack where I use the uh, just like your car charger but it's hooked to a couple of uh, you know jumper like a little jumper cable but tonight I'm just gonna let the uh, I'm just gonna let it go because it's at 96 percent and uh, I don't see it going anywhere below about 60 to run my refrigerator tonight of course I got my my heater on so it's getting nice and toasty in here so uh, I'll probably call it an early night and get me some sleep and we'll see you guys in the morning.
I'm an old biker dude, man. <laughs>